finally Ram and his army had figured out a way to cross the ocean in the fastest way possible. It was Hanuman's discovery that the stones that had Ram's name could float in the water. They started working on the bridge in the quickest manner and got going. In fact, even little squirrels helped Ram and made sure that they did their part in establishing the path to Dharma. Ram was delighted with their work and blessed the squirrels. They were about to meet Vibhishan. While Ram and company were preparing to invade and capture Lanka, Ravan was getting ready and discussing with his ministers about the happenings in the town. They came to know about Ram's invasion and they were very confident in their own strength and power to defeat Ram. They were just waiting for him to attack and not even paying attention to the warnings. This all was witnessed and noticed by Vibhishan. Vibhishan was the youngest brother of Ravan. He was destined to save the Rakshas clan from extinction. Vibhishan was also a strong devotee of Lord Vishnu and knew that Ram was an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Vibhishan was always in a different opinion than Ravan. While the news of Ram's progress came in, every minister was ready to participate in war and indulge in bloodshed. However, Vibhishan was against this idea. He told Ravan, O oh, elder brother, please let Sita go and befriend Ram. He is a powerful man and is the avatar of Lord Vishnu. Please stop this war from happening and save our kingdom. Ravan got angry after hearing this from Vibhishan and replied, Vibhishan, you seem to have lost your mind. Why are you favoring Ram and telling your own brother to quit the war? I am really angry with you. Don't you ever tell me again what to do. Vibhishan went silent and the meeting ended. Every minister was ready for the war and the preparation for war is in full force. One day, Vibhishan went to Ravan's room and made sure that they could have a little chat. Then Vibhishan again stated the idea of letting Sita go and befriending Ram. This time, Ravan got so angry that he scolded Vibhishan and ordered him to stay away from the kingdom. Vibhishan was thus banished from his own kingdom and went into exile. Vibhishan now had nowhere to go and thought what is the best thing to do. He went to his mother Kaikasa and consulted her as to what the right path to follow is. His mother ensured him that it would do good to go and join Ram as Ravan would not have any other mindset than war. Going there might be risky but it is a risk that Vibhishan had to take if he wanted to save the innocent people of Lanka and ensured that the kingdom does not meet in the complete destruction. Thus, Vibhishan agreed to his mother's advice and went ahead to go and meet Lord Ram, where a different challenge awaited him.